my channel Living Around. My name is Irene and today I'm taking you to a garden that I am so excited about. This is the garden behind the Instagram account Just Planted and I have never met the man behind. His name is Varun and his garden and plants are just so amazing. I am so excited. I could barely sleep last night. So I'm here today and it's quite surreal seeing all these plants that I've only seen on Instagram in real life. So let's get started. Hi, Farron. Hi, Irene. Nice so, to meet you. Nice to meet you yeah. too. So good to see you in person at last. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Your garden is just so breathtaking <laughs> thank you thank you can you tell us a little bit about how how you started planting or how, how did your love for plants started oh it actually um it started around four years ago okay when I, when I moved into this house yeah so i had some space here mm -hmm. and i you know i didn't know what to do with about it so i thought i just wanted to put some plants you know just to have some a, a, a simple garden lah. okay so yeah, I started from there and uh, <laughs> the more I learn about plants, uh, you know, I, I stumble upon some exotic plants. And yeah, I could see you have that's a lot. All, yeah, that's all, <laughs> that's all how it started. But uh, yeah, but back then in the days, you mm. know, uh, it's really hard to get those plants. Yeah. Like three, four years ago. Yeah. Yeah, mostly I got them from collectors or, you know, people who went to Thailand and, yeah. and, and, and they got the plants and they bought the plants for me. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So back then, they were really rare. Yes. Yeah. Compared to now. I mean, now it's like, you know. If you have the money, you can yeah, get it. Yeah, if you have the money, you can get any yeah. plants right now. Yeah, yes. yeah. So I can see here you're mostly a foliage guy. <laughs> yeah. And huge foliage at yeah. that. Okay, I, I don't know where to start, but this, this Colocasia white lava really, yeah. really caught my eye. Yeah, true. How got, long have you had it? Uh, I've got this uh, about two and a half years ago. Okay. Uh, from Zenith, actually. Ah. Yeah. Back then, it's so hard to find one. It, yeah. And people were not really talking about it yeah, two and yeah, a half yeah. years ago. Yeah, back then, it, it was cheap as well. I mean, yes. <laughs> yeah. And only, you know, not many collectors have uh, the yeah. white lava. Yeah. yeah. Back then, yeah, Zenith had it. So. So I got it from him hey, back then. Free okay. promo for Zenith. Zenith <laughs> is a seller in Ipo. He yeah. sells amazing plants like this. <laughs> and then the prices for this just shot up incredibly, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, in especially Colacoshias. Yes. Oh my goodness. And do you have them planted in a lot of water? I hear they like water. Yeah, yeah. I, I plant them in a pot and I just put a tray and make sure it has water. Yep, there's, there's water in there. Are you not worried about mosquitoes? Uh, no, I just use my water hose and I change the water every day. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah, so, wow. but usually by afternoon it will dry up really, so. Okay. Yeah, I just refill it every day. You know, every single plant here is kind of like amazing in its own right. I, I don't know what to look at next. Um, I see this is the lime fiddle, fiddle. Yeah. lime fiddle. Yeah, yeah. This is one of my uh, oldest fiddles. Yeah, I started with a long time ago. Yes. Yeah, back then this was quite rare as well. <laughs> yeah, right, maybe three years ago, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. La. But nonetheless, not many people have it at this size. <laughs> yeah. I think you've got some inflows as well. Uh, no. Oh, no inflows, okay. Yeah. Drop already. So, you have yeah. it creeping up your, your mm. moss pole. Right. And then we have here uh, Alocasia yeah, Cleopatra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The green shield. The green shield. I think this is the newest leaf here. Yep. Oh, okay. Mm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, oh, and then that's your um, Likuala oh, yeah. Makula. No. Mapu. Mapu, Mapu. Yep, yep. Oh, this one I always tell all the viewers this is endemic to Sarala. Yeah. And I'm very proud of it. Yes. I got it really small last time. And yeah, it's very slow growing palm. Yes. So. yes. Under a lot of shade. Yeah, and it's <gasps> very big. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is, is this the Jose yeah. Bueno? Yes, this is the Jose Bueno. Ah. Yeah, this guy is about, I think, two and a half years old. Okay. Yeah, I got it really small last time. But as I... it grew bigger, the, not much variegation anymore. Yeah. Okay, the thing is, I have had plants I got two years ago that small, and they pretty much didn't grow very much bigger. <laughs> and then yours is like, boom. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, but I have to ask you, what do you feed your plants? How come they're so huge? Uh, <laughs> I just give them old smoke coat, uh, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and also I use some liquid fertilizer for the most part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also on the foliage, the foliage spray. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Together lah. For the, when I use the liquid fertilizer. Okay. Can I ask what's your regimen? How often do you spray your, your leaves? Uh, if uh, maybe <laughs> if I'm not lazy, uh, one month once. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not that often. And that Osmo coat just every what three or a couple six months, months when I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So that's his regimen for ultra huge leaf. <laughs> <sighs> and then what else? Oh, yeah. This is inside? the philodendron uh, esmeraldense. Oh, yeah. so huge already. Yeah, yeah. When did you get this? This one about, uh, I say about a year ago. Oh, okay. But I got this really small, like like this small is for, because it was cheap, for like uh, 150. Yeah. For that small? Yeah, yeah, the leaf. About one year ago. Yeah, yeah. And it's this size now. You can see. Can you yeah, come and take a look? I'm not sure how the olive died. Yeah. Uh, maybe, yeah, it's still here. Like. It's quite small, yeah, you see. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I am just so uh, stunned. I don't know what to say. <laughs> and then, is that your Patricia? Yeah, yeah, this is my Patricia. Yeah. Wow. I have to ask you this, Farron. Do you insure your garden or your plants? There are so many gems <laughs> no, <la>. here. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I don't. <laughs> and then, what is this one? Is oh, this is a, this is a Alokasia Albatu one. Oh. Yeah. If you look at the back, the leaves is really nice. See? Yes. You can see the veins. Yeah. I can see, you know, um, it would make a very beautiful dress. <laughs> this pattern and yeah. texture. Is this native to Borneo or do you know what? No, it's no, from? this is a hybrid from Indonesia. Oh, yeah, yeah. hybrid from Indonesia. Yeah. Okay, this is a leaf that's upright so you could see better. Yeah. Ah, I, I want to ask you, hmm. what is your potting media for alocasia? It's my question to every alocasia uh, collector. Actually, all, all my plants I just use uh, soil and perlite. Yeah, that, that's what? about it. Yeah. Really? Only soil and perlite. Yeah, you can see. That Everything is, is soil and perlite. Yeah. That is shocking. Okay, come have a look. <laughs> okay, I can see perlite has all floated to the top. Yeah. Mostly all soil and polite. You can see all my philodendrons, my anthuriums inside. Yeah, everything is just soil and polite. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I keep it simple in my garden. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and I have to ask, could you share what ratio of soil and polite? Uh, it depends. If for the plants outside, I, I put more polite for mm -hmm. better drainage. Yeah. Maybe about 50-50. Uh, okay. Yeah. But for the ones inside, it's like maybe 70-30 or 80-20. Yeah, oh, around there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's amazing because we buy stuff like aroid mix, yeah, yeah. bark, and pumice, and yeah, yeah, charcoal, and stuff, yeah. and then you just soil and whoops, yeah, keep it like, simple. Oh my god, I hope no, it's okay. damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this one? I'm not familiar with this. Oh, this one is the variegated gigantium. Is this a. Uh... They call it blizzard as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yes. Mm. It's amazing, it's really beautiful. Yeah, very nice variegation. Yeah. Is this one known for quite stable or it or kind of loses its variegation also? Uh, I don't think so. It, it, had, it has never lost its variegation okay. so far. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because some plants are notorious for, yeah. you know, instability, yeah, yeah, like the ability. I've cut this a few times and, you know, it still gives me mm. uh, variegated leaves. So uh, later we will discuss you cutting this for me uh, sometime <laughs> in the future. <laughs> yeah. But I just want to show you uh, how Farron has grown his plant so well because the previous leaves you could see are just about this size and then it kind of just goes boom, so yeah, yeah. huge under his care. I think it's also a healthy amount of light that you yes, have. Yes, yes. Uh, the, yeah. the light and environment is very important. Yes. Yeah. I have a feeling my plants are growing quite slow because I have a very shady garden. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. It depends. Uh, so some plants do well uh, with low light. Some plants, mm. they, they like for variegated plants, of course, they want Love very light. bright light. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then, uh, oh, this one. Yeah, yeah. It's a Monstera, what? This is a Monstera obliqua Amazonas. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen a specimen that is so huge. Yeah, yeah. They're usually like tree leaves yeah. and about so tiny. 
Yeah, this one grows uh, really fast. You see, the, the new leaf is has not hard, hardened yeah. yet. And yes. you see, a new one is growing. And wow. I, I need to extend that moss pole soon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you not think about planting some trees so that you can get your feelers to climb on it? Yeah, I mean, I want to, but <laughs> I don't have much space, so yeah, la, yeah. La. Yeah. So yeah. I keep extending my poles. <laughs> yes, yes, keep extending your pole yeah. like that one. I always offer fire in my trees for yes. his villa that you're sticking. So, yeah, yes, free hotel stay if you like. <laughs> Okay, okay, wow. Oh, the pharaoh's mask. Yes, yes. Another very hot colocasia now that's yeah, in the yeah. market. How, how long have you had this? Uh, this one just recently, a uh, few months ago, I had a plant sort with a friend. Ah, yeah. okay. Yep, so wow. it's quite an easy colocasia to grow. I kind of both love and a little frightened of it because it looks so <laughs> aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's quite unique. La. Yeah, it's a very aggressive looking plant, I yeah. thought. Okay, this is another white lava? Uh, no, that's uh, Nancy Revenge. Oh, uh, yeah. I have not heard of that. Okay, first of all, what is this? This is huge. Yeah, this is a uh, philodendron melonii. Melonii. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, so. there's a very nice hidden gem inside. <laughs> it's a Daffenbachia. Yeah. Very good, if I'm making. Is that called the Big Ben yeah. or something? I'm so proud of myself. I know names of uh, <laughs> <laughs> some plants now. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, wait, and uh, this thing. Yeah, yeah. Is the Esculeto? Yep, yep, this is Esculeto. Farron, this one is so huge and it's got inflow that I've never yeah. seen. Correct, okay, yeah. What is this plant? This is the uh, Monstera Espitina. Ah. Yeah. Okay. I've grown this for about one and a half years, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is my first time seeing the inflow as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And you have quite a few at yeah, a time. A yeah, you beautiful inflow. You try to uh, pollinate them yet? Yeah, yeah. I took the pollen off the first one. Okay. So I'm seeing how long the second one. Yeah. But it just opened last night actually. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got some baby making to do later. Yeah, I'm trying uh, But so far, I've, uh, never, you know. I was never successful before. Ah. Yeah, it's quite hard to pollinate. It Need, needs some luck. Lah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, before we go in and we have a lot more plants inside, I want us to continue the outside. We forgot to continue on the outside and we want to do that before the sun gets too hot. So, let's see. Ah, this is more colocasia. Yeah, yeah. That's the mojito. Ah, okay. Yep. And also standard, just soil and some perlite. Yeah, yeah, just soil and perlite. Ah. Yep. Okay, I have to ask, do you find this a more uh, demanding mojito? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a more fussy mojito for me actually. Yeah. That's a comfort because I killed mine. Yeah, I, I killed mine twice actually. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, this is my third one and, and I think I got it how, how to grow it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah. what is the secret? What did you do differently this time? Uh, I gave it partial, you know, sun, partial shade. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I, the the last one, I, I gave it too much sun, oh. and and it wasn't happy. Yeah, because yep. it's it feels so thin and fragile. Actually, yeah. The leaves. <laughs> yes, correct. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, is this the black satin? Yes, correct. Yeah. Yes. I got that as a bulb from a shopee. Ah, okay. <laughs> but only twenty five ringgit. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and thought, yeah, it's yeah, it grew two two shoots for me. <gasps> yeah. Hey, your anthurium has also inflowed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you do you do something about these ones? These uh, no. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Okay, let's see what other gem is there. You kind of like this is a treasure hunt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I see a uh, alocasia cupria inside. Yeah, yeah. Oh. This is the one uh rotted a while back and it's growing again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it went dormant and rotted and. If, back in. if you're missing one, I can always give you because I don't know how they kind of pop up um, everywhere in your garden. Yeah, everywhere <laughs> my garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Mysteriously. like that. Uh, yes. Okay, and this is uh, under a magnificum. Uh, this is a hybrid, uh, crystal magni. Yeah. I am just eyeing at all your inflow <laughs> and that you should do something <laughs> with them. Yeah, try lah, maybe you <laughs> still. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Oh, we variegated banana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, you have quite a few. But I noticed you don't have the white one. Yeah, I used to, but uh, I sold it. 
because the the white variegation they they brown off easily. Oh. So yeah, I didn't quite like it. So okay. the yellow one is it's fine. You see the variegation yes. stays. Yes. Yeah. So I think it's better lah. Ah. <laughs> I am also feeling, yeah, your variegated plants rarely have this white variegation. In yeah, them. yeah, I, I, I sold all of them <laughs> oh. because they, they turn brown eventually. So, ah, okay. Yeah, I didn't. So quite like it, it costs more heartaches. Yeah, yeah. Get this, rid of it. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has been on my wish list for some time. The maximum. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, it's also a climbing plant, is it? Yep, yep. I decided to plant this in the ground. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I cut this many times because they they grow really fast. And uh, yeah, and they grow really huge. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is really nice. I love its um, prominent yep. veins. This can grow really huge. Okay, what else? Oh, this is a variegated something. What is it? That's a variegated chiku. What? Yeah, you know chiku? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a fruit plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Variegated chiku. Oh my goodness, yeah. how on earth did you find a variegated I got it from Shopee. <laughs> what? <laughs> I saw someone selling it one day. <laughs> so, then I just got it, I got a small plant. Oh yeah. my goodness. And then what is that? That's a white princess. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, right. you can see the, the new leaf. It's got lots of white. Yes. Yeah. And then this is the fish palm. Yeah, yeah. Fishtail palm. Fishtail palm. Variegated fishtail palm. Wow. Yeah. What other gems are there? <laughs> oh, this is a... Is it the Glorious? Yeah, this is the Glorious. Okay. Yeah, my quite sad looking Glorious. Oh my god, <laughs> I, I didn't see the one yeah, yeah, yeah. up there. Because I, I cut it. Okay. Yeah, all the leaves started dying. But of course, I just wanted to reset it actually. Uh -huh. Yeah. So well, see, actually, now why do you cut it? Uh, it was growing too fast actually, so you see, <laughs> and I, I I didn't know what to do about it anymore. I, I can't extend the pole. <laughs> so You cut this because yeah, yeah. it was growing too fast? Yeah, yeah. so maybe later I'm, I'm just gonna cut, cut here a few more. Oh my yeah. god. I'm just gonna, you know, remove this. Yeah. Yeah. Extension. Then that... this will be another plant and this will grow yeah. another one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that is a problem. Not many of us have that it grows <laughs> yeah, too <yeah>. fast. <laughs> yeah, no, this philodendron this grows really fast. Oh my, I wish yeah. I have this problem. <laughs> uh, this is the lime gecko. Yeah, yeah, this is the regular lime gecko. Wow, I can see it can take a lot of sun. Yeah, yeah, it can. Okay. Mm. And then what else have we got you like to highlight to us? Is that a cactus? Yeah, that's a cactus I got a long time ago. Wow. But I, I don't know what cactus is that. La. <laughs> and it lives happily amongst the other tropical plants. Yeah, I don't I don't I never watered this guy, so <laughs> <laughs> oh, it lives in neglect. Yeah, it's got sharp thorns. Are yeah. like quite something. Okay. Good. Alright, let's head on to the inside where he has more gems. <laughs> This thing caught my eye. It has a very special variegation of yellow yeah, yeah. and pink. <gasps> Can you tell me a bit more about this anthurium? This is the uh, anthurium uh, hookerii. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe it's a hybrid. Uh. I'm, I'm not too really sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I saw people auctioning it for, I don't know, thousands and thousands, like 8,000 I think. Yeah, yeah, it's quite insane uh, nowadays. Yes, yeah. I saw yeah. a lot in yeah, Thailand. Yeah, yeah. In Thailand. Uh, yeah. It's famous in Thailand. Yes. Yeah. Okay, what else? Oh, let's see. Oh, this one? Is this a Raffirodora? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, Angusta. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anthurium Angusta. Raffidophora. Raff yeah. <laughs> Raffirodora angusta. Yeah. It yeah. originates from Borneo? Yep. I think, I think here also. Lah. Here? Yeah, I think here so. I think so, yeah. Okay. Now jungles, they have this also, I think. Yeah. yeah, this is actually... Or maybe someone took it from Borneo and then it came here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not too sure, but it's Malaysian, yeah. It's like really nice and rippled. Yep. I think rivaling the Anthurium vichii. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the philodendron hetero. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Gosh. Uh, I just discovered just now Fire is also partially from Borneo. Yeah, yeah. My He's mom. From <laughs> My mom's from Sabah. Sabah. Yeah, correct. I'm from Sarawak. So I feel like uh, kinship. <laughs> <The> connection. <laughs> yes. Oh, 
Wow, I haven't got this, so this goes into my wish list. The problem is whenever I look at uh, Farron's Instagram account, it just adds to my wish list. Yeah, so. but, yeah this one is it's not costly, it's because it's local, it's, yeah, it's cheap. I yeah. think because maybe nobody is really looking for it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So after video, after this video, people might. Start <laughs> I better start to buy it before I release the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's look at what else we have. Oh, the Paraiso Verde, yeah, yeah. which actually, oh my God, it is so humongous. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, then this is the Lady Palm. Yeah. Is this is this expensive? Uh, it wasn't when I got it a long time ago, okay. but it was small, yeah. yeah, it was like 50 ringgit or something like that. Wow, yeah. okay, and then, oh, Farah, is this the, uh, what's, what is this? Squammy, 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 oh, okay. call. Yeah, Squammy. Squammy, Squammy something. Uh, it's, it's looking a little scrawny. Uh, yeah, 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 it's because I, I, I did some cuttings, ah, yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. nice. And then let's see what else we have. Oh, this looks like a pomade type of what? What is this? Uh, this is an anturim actually. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You see the the leaves on top here. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's grown very huge. Here. Wow. This is a uh, anturim uh, polydactylum. Okay. Let's move on to see what's here. What is this, Farron? Okay. This is the uh, used to be called the. Esmeraldas AFF. Okay. Yeah, but now he has got a new name. Oh. It's a uh, philodendron SP uh, Dolly Chigo name or something like that lah. SP oh. Dolly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huge. I can't. I I'm running out of um, words to describe your plants. <laughs> yeah. It's just huge and huge and very huge. Okay. I can see we have a lot more things there. Yeah. Yeah. You want to? Okay. Can, yes. Come in. <laughs> Inviting ourselves to hidden corners. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> Carefully. Yeah. So this one is the Anturim uh, Sargarinse. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I always thought it looked rather phallic, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From South America, this one. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, nice. Would you say it's fairly easy one? Yeah, this one is quite easy actually. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. form is really, really different. From yep. The this is the new leaf lah. It just came out. Oh, it's so satisfying. Your one leaf is always bigger than the other one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you were asking me this time, yeah. This is the Platycerum fungsichi. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's got started to grow some Curls. pearls already. Yeah. Wow. Yep. And I always ask you this, how long have you had it? This one about a year. But last time I bought it, it was really small. Lah. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because by comparison, I also have one. Mine's oh. about six months old and no, nowhere, anywhere near that. <laughs> <laughs> I, but this one, I feel it was quite fussy. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 I think it needs cool temperature for me. Yeah. Oh. That's why I put it here instead of uh, outside. How about the watering needs for the Swang Si Chi? Uh, I don't really water because it's outdoor wow. and it rains. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And this is the SS Fung. Okay. Last, yes. time, last time when I got it, it was like, like so small. <laughs> yeah, wow. it started to grow. So for the viewers, this uh, Arthurian SS Fong and Fong Si Chi, mm. it is a hybrid by a very... Yeah, Mr. Fong. Yeah, Mr. Fong yeah. Who, is, who is Malaysian. Yeah, from Ipoh. So we're very proud of that. Yeah, Malaysian made. <laughs> Ma yeah. Malaysian made. Yeah. Yes. yes, yes. Oh, and then your regale that's yeah, yeah. there. It's my regale. That's huge. And, uh, yeah, got a new leaf coming out. I am yeah. so jealous because I came back from my Kuching trip and yep. then it my regale kind of died or is dying. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and this uh, is the uh, Anturium uh, Anga Makinum. What? Yeah. I never heard of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's from South America as well. How do you spell this? Uh, I don't know. but. <laughs> Ah, that's what I have my Instagram account for, you know, to document their names and everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I can send it to you later. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah, the, and the, that, you can oh. see the new leaf is coming out as well. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It reminds me of the dark mama. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of it's a longish yeah. and dark form. Mm. And yeah, over here we have the Verucusum. Verucusum. Yeah, you can see. 
the heady. Wow, you have yeah. it to a very, very good size here. Yeah, yeah. It was quite challenging to grow this one. And I think you've acclimatized yeah, it very I've well. Yeah, I've yeah. And over here, we have the Chardonnay. Oh, yeah. yes. Another yep. one that's in my wish list. This one is some SP, I think. I, I, I'm not sure what the name is, but... Yeah, I have never quite, quite seen unique. that. Yeah. It's like the rabbit ear is yeah, very, yeah. very prominent. Yeah, correct. It's an uh, anthurium, you said? Yeah, it's an anthurium. Oh. And it's got this leathery, you know, feel to the yeah. leaves. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a collection. <laughs> and, and this one? Yeah, this is the balaunum. Wait, is balaunum. this the same as this? No, no, not the same. Yeah. You can see the veins are different. Oh. The shape also is different. It's slightly, this one is broader. Yeah. This one is like slimmer and longer. You know, from a distance, it looks like a lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really, really edges. Yeah, correct. And then I see we have treasures down here below. This yeah. is the Forgetii? Yes, yes, that's correct. Ah. Oh. Is that the Luxurian? Yeah, that's a Luxurian. It's a wow. young juvenile luxury. Baby luxury. Yep. And then that's that's some tricolor thing. Yep. Aglo aglonema pictum tricolor. Yes. Do you find it difficult, like fussy? Uh, so far no. So far not not, not for me. I, I just put it here and it seems to be growing well. Oh, yeah. The and color is amazing. Oh my God! There is something behind it that looks very fragile and delicate. What's oh, that's that? a labisia la actually. Oh. But I don't think it's doing well in my garden. <laughs> Do you know what are its requirements? Uh, no, I don't. I just got it. It's from uh, Borneo actually. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just got it, uh, I think, last two months back. It's... Trying trying to grow it. I only just saw them on Instagram. So yeah. It's quite a treat. <laughs> I think maybe they're grown in Highland. Yeah, maybe. Okay, what else? Um, let's see. Over here you have the... Oh, this is the Columbia SP? Yeah, yeah. SP Columbia. I'm kind of proud of myself. I recognize so many plants. <laughs> it just proves that I spend too much time on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and now we sneak into this lane. Oh, look at that amazing Anthurium Villanarium that's so huge. Farron, you have an inflow. Yes. <laughs> I also have an inflow. I'm going to bring my pollen to you, okay? Yeah, okay, so sure. So then we can see if we can make <laughs> other veterinarian babies. <laughs> wow, there is so much more in here, guys. And uh, there is no way I could walk inside. <laughs> Farron, does this used to be a pathway? Yeah, 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 used to, but uh, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah, wow. Okay, can't get in there, so we have to leave this. Here I see there is the Alocasia sarian, and then a very, very tall moss pole. What is this plant, Farron? Uh, that is the uh, Monstera subpinata. Ah, yeah. it looks almost like a palm tree. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, it looks very similar to another Monstera that, um, pardon Epi. me, but I see it a lot on the roadside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like the Epi that we have in Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so the one we have in Malaysia is called the, the Epi. Yeah, yeah, the Epi Pen oh. Yeah, I have it on my column as well. You hey, can go check it out later. It's reached the top of its pole far. Yeah, yeah, I have to cut it soon. Lah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so. This one is the other one. Yes, yes, that's the that's the epi. That's the epi. Yep. Hmm, to my untrained eye, they look really, really similar. Yeah. <laughs> but the pricing is very, very different. Yeah, yeah. This one, this one is you can get it by the roadside lah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Farhan, you have so many plants. I just need to ask you, yeah. how much time and effort do you put into gardening? Uh, I mean da daily I, I, I miss my plants every day. Miss yeah. your plants? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I miss the pole, miss the plants to, to maintain the humidity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do it twice a day actually. Okay. Uh, morning and late evening. Wow. Yeah. 
So That's I dedication. Yeah, yeah. I spend about two hours every day for them. Do, I have to ask you this do, because I know you have little kids. You have yeah, three yeah. little children. <laughs> do your wife or family um, complain that you spend too much time with your plants? Uh, they used to, <laughs> but not anymore, lah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They gave up. Yeah, yeah. They gave up, lah. Okay. Because yeah, this is what I like doing. So uh, yeah, my hobby, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. My husband and I have an arrangement, you know, so he loves his car and he spends forever oh, okay. on his car. Yeah, yeah. And I, I do stuff on my plants, so um, we accept that we have our, each our own passion. Yeah, Let true. each other be. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I also want to um, just say that maybe I've changed my mind now about Moss Paul because mm. I had a thing against Moss Paul because aesthetically, <laughs> found them not very pleasing to the eye. Oh, yeah. I noticed that you could hardly see the many moss pole that you have because yeah, yeah. eventually all your plants cover Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eventually your plants will, will cover. Yeah. Yep. And so, hmm, maybe, maybe I, I could think about that too. Yeah. But I do have trees. I'm yeah. trying to train my plants to climb up trees. <laughs> yes. And Vern, I've been trying to figure out because I spend so much money on potting media mm -hmm. and then I see you using soil and perlite, which I feel this is a cheaper option. Yeah. It's and a... I'm wondering why this could not work for my garden. I think uh, you just need to find what's suitable for your garden, your environment. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because when I first started out, so I, I experimented with uh, different types of medium. Okay. Yeah. So I found out that uh, soil works best for me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Actually, then, soil is very good because it's uh, rich in microbes yeah. and all the nutrients. Yeah, yeah. And it's also cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just use soil and perlite. Okay. Yeah. I think it, you just need to find something that it's suitable for your environment. Yeah. yeah. Because I know people who grow in different different mediums so they, they are successful as well yeah okay. so there's no perfect medium yeah, yeah. I'm wondering this because uh, Farhan and I are both in Kuala Lumpur we both have our gardens outdoor yeah but if I just observe his garden is getting a whole lot more light yep. and a lot more ventilation and maybe that's why soil could work better. yeah that's correct because mine is very shady and a lot more humid um, get fungal infection yeah, to correct. plants. I use soil because my place is much more windier and yeah. brighter. So it, uh, if I use other medium, right, it will yeah. dry out faster. Too fast. Yeah, so soil, soil for me, you know, I don't have to water that frequently and yeah, okay. it works fine for me. So I think the key takeaway is uh, you really got to understand your own environment yep. and then figure out what's the right potting media. Yes. I'm now using a lot of pumice, so it's quite expensive. <laughs> maybe I need to trim my trees so I have more light yeah, going maybe, through my garden. Maybe. Yes, correct. Yes, okay. So far in your garden, you know, um, it's not only a lot of plants, but it, it feels and it looks really complete. Would you now say you're, you're happy with what you've got and you just sit back and enjoy what you have? Uh, <laughs> I enjoy what I have, but uh, you know, the, the, this hobby, it, it never ends, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, every day you, you see there's new plants coming in um, to the market and uh, yeah. you want this, you want that, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I still have a wish list. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully, you know, in the upcoming years, the, the price might drop a little bit or yes. something, yeah, I'll get more plants uh. okay but, yeah but for now I'm, I'm happy with what i have mm -hmm. yeah but yeah it, it never ends uh. <laughs> yeah. yeah it never ends yeah. i started out my own garden also thinking i want to landscape make it yeah. look nice yeah but then my buying never stopped yeah the buying never stopped. <laughs> uh, okay so anyway i think that's it for this episode guys yeah thank you very much for, no for hosting us giving yeah, okay. us a tour yeah 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 all right so to my next video and if you've enjoyed this please click subscribe and share it with others yes until then bye bye, bye.